Hello guys, welcome back to the channel for a new Databricks video. Today's video is about column masking. If you have sensitive data, data that you want to protect, and you want only specific users to be able to get the original values, and the rest of the users to get back reductive values, then column masking is ideal for this purpose. It's pretty easy to apply column masking at a Unity catalog table. You create a user-defined function, you pass the column that you want to mask, and then you return at runtime either the reducted value or the original value based on the privileges of the user. Now, there is only one caveat. There is no PySpark version of it. You have to use SQL to apply a masking function to a Unity catalog table. But anyhow, without further ado, let's move to the documentation. Okay, what are column masks? Column masks let you apply a masking function to a table column. The masking function evaluates at query runtime, substituting its reference of the target column with the results of the masking function. For most use cases, column masks determine whether to return the original column value or to reduct it based on the identity of the invoking user. Column masks are expressions written as SQL user-defined functions or uh, as Python or Scala UDFs wrapped in SQL UDFs. Each table column can have one, only one masking function applied to it. The masking function takes the unmasked value of the column as input and returns the masked value as its result. The return value of the masking function should be the same as the column being masked. The masking function can also take additional columns as input parameters and use those in its masking logic. Apply a column mask here. To apply a column mask, you have to create a user-defined function and apply it to a table column. And here there are some instructions of how to create this function. As you can see, create function, function name, the, the parameter would be the column that we want to mask and then we return the expression uh, the way we like it. And then how can we apply the column mask to a column in an existing table? We have to use this SQL command, alter table, table name, alter column, and then set mask and then mask uh, the mask uh, function that we created here. And uh, also let's check here the column mask close. You can use this uh, mask function either in PySpark or SQL. It, it exists in both. The only difference is that you cannot apply the mask function to an existing table with uh, in PySpark version. So this command, there is no equivalent command for this one in PySpark. But the mask function, it exists in SQL and PySpark as well. Here, if you can see the syntax, mask and then you do all those things that you want for example here we uh, create a function called uh, mask underscore ssn we pass the column that we want uh, to mask and then return case when if it's member of this human resource department then we display the value as is otherwise we return a reducted value so it's pretty simple right and then if someone who is a non-member of the hr with uh, gets back the reducted value either if uh, he's from hr or she is from hr he gets back the original value and there are some there are some examples here of how you can use it now the mask function in PySpark is like that mask and then you uh, pass a uh, the text or the column and then you uh, can specify if it's lowercase then replace it with for example this letter if it's a, another character replace it with x or if it's a, a digital number replace it with something else there are print there are plenty you know uh, examples here that you can see okay guys so let's move to our example 
The first thing that you have to do is to enable Unity Catalog at your Databricks workspace. If you haven't enabled Unity Catalog at your Databricks workspace, you will not be able to apply the masking function to a Unity Catalog table. So let's say for the, this demo, we are creating a new catalog called test if it doesn't exist, and then we create a new schema under this catalog here. Now, in your account console, you will have to assign your Metastore here to your workspace, so your Databricks workspace. So I have, as you can see, I have assigned our Metastore to our Databricks workspace here. We have done videos about how you create a Metastore and how you can connect it to your storage account using a Databricks, Databricks connector. So uh, first, First things first, enable Unity Catalog to your Databricks workspace. So then you can create a catalog, you can create a schema. So let's use this catalog, let's use this schema here. Actually, there is no test schema, this is the bronze schema that we have to use. And here let's create a, a table here, a Unity Catalog table with three columns and three records that it will be stored as a Unity Catalog table called demo. And let's select the data that we have for this Unity Catalog table. Pretty simple data, as you can see right now. Let's say that you are uh, you going to create and mask the you want to create a function, a masking function, and you want to apply to this column called name. So the admins could if they if the admin if an admin quits the table then the original values will be returned but if there is someone who doesn't belong to the admin group uh, in terms of security he should get back the reducted value now the logic here is to create a function a masking function so create or replace function provide a function name then column as a string which is the column name right and then returns a string because here we have to define what uh, this user defined function should return and it's a string right and then language sql return and here we have this select statement case when if it's a member of admins then we return the original values so the column as is otherwise we mask the column based on the mask function here that we just checked here, as you can see, this is the the syntax here, mask, etc., etc., and we we are going to replace the lower characters of this of this column. So, for example, here the lower characters would be replaced with Z, and the upper characters will be replaced with X. So, let's create this function. Now, if you're going to test the function you can just uh, select uh, the function you you provide the function you created plus a, a string here so let's see what we get back and we're going to get back the original value because now I'm logged in as an admin right so but uh, if you're going to apply this function to the unity catalog table then you use this command alter table demo add the uh, alter column the column name here and set mask the function name so let's do that and now if we go back to our catalog let's uh, see under our test catalog here we have the bronze schema and then we have as you can see we have one function the name mask function you can see the code here, all these, the parameters, all these things, right? And the permissions as well. And here we have the demo table. Now, if you scroll down, you will see here next to the column name, we have the column masking rule. And so this masking rule has been applied to this column. So now it's... Uh, it's okay to query the data, right? We get back the value that we expect, like we just uh, witnessed. So when we select 
from this demo table we get back the original values without any reducted values now let me log on with the other user which is not uh, who is not an admin so if you want to check your users you go under settings and then identity and access and you can see the groups here and here I have two groups in the admin groups I have only the user I'm currently logged in logged on in and then if you use the second group we have users both users are under this group but if you remember again if you remember the how we defined it in the function right here as you can see in the function we say if it's member of the admins group then we can see everything if it's not then we mask the column that we provided let me log on with the other user okay so i have logged on with the different account with a different account with a user that does not belong to the admins group and we can verify that here as you can see this is a different uh, user and if we go under profile you will see under groups next to groups this uh, user is not a member of any groups so we are not in the group admin using this account now let's go into our notebook here and uh, actually run the same code so let's use this test catalog and this bronze schema and then query the table and see what we get back now we have already applied the masking function so if you are not a member of the admins group you should get back only reducted values for the second column so let's see what happens here and yes as you can see the second column has been masked at runtime when we select from the demo table here as you can see we have replaced upper cases with uh, uppercase x and the lower cases with zzz actually this is how we can do it this is how we can mask a column using the masking function now here you can play around with the logic and define a different logic of who can and who cannot access the data and the columns right so there are many things you can do here based on the business logic that you have moving on we have the PySpark version as we mentioned we cannot use PySpark to apply a masking function to a unity catalog table what we can do is something similar but not exactly like that so let's we, again we have the same table here and from uh, this table what we can do is actually load it and create new columns or replace existing columns uh, using dot with column and then the mask function that we import from the sql functions uh, library and here we pass the column name and we replace the lower characters with uh, x and the upper characters with stars and if you have an integer that you want to mask then you have to cast it as a string and provide a, a string here to replace it so let's run this code and see the masked values and here you can see that we have two new columns with the masked values now i don't recommend what we can do is overwrite we can create actually a user-defined function in PySpark. Yes, we can create a user-defined uh, user function in PySpark and apply it here, creating a new column. And this is fine. But what happens if you overwrite the existing columns, then nobody would be able to see the original values because it doesn't happen at runtime. We don't mask the values at runtime like the masking function that we applied in sql so if you want to use the PySpark version just create new new columns with the masked values and override the existing call and override the existing table and that's the best that you can so i recommend you use the sql version
This is it for today guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and you learned something new. I'm going to upload this notebook on GitHub if you want to take a look. However, uh, everything is on the documentation, you can find everything here, everything and more on the documentation here about how to create the functions and apply masking. Uh, there is a lot of documentation here, right? If you enjoyed the video, please click the like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.